Phil's Coffee had some pretty humble beginnings in a Bay Area neighborhood. Now it's expanding from coast to coast. Only on five tonight, Betty Yu asked the CEO about his recipe for success. Judging by the constant line out the door on the first day of its Walnut Creek opening, the love for Phil's Coffee is strong. It's pretty long. <laughs> Worth it? Uh, yeah, it's my favorite coffee. I'm glad it's coming to Walnut Creek. It's not like a, a big box coffee chain. Uh, there's a little more homey feel to homey of a feel to drinking Phil's. Over the last 15 years, Phil's Coffee has become a Bay Area favorite. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is one of the chain's biggest fans. Today, the brand has 39 stores and counting spread across the Bay Area, Los Angeles, and Orange County. But in Silicon Valley fashion, it began small, with CEO Jacob Jaber's father, Phil, in 1976. He created unique blends at the family grocery store in San Francisco's Mission District, where the original Phil's is today. I've been helping him when it was a grocery store, because it used to be a grocery store. Since I was a really young kid, I would stand on top of milk crates and ring people up on the register. So I learned at a very young age business and uh, how to work with people. 30-year-old Jaber has been running the business for the last 12 years as CEO. Every single cup is handmade for each customer. And our concept is such that each cup is personalized, the service and the cup. We grind every cup fresh on the spot. He plans to do that beyond California. D.C. was its first East Coast market. Boston is up next. And Phil's has its sights set on New York City. I can help next, yes. It plans to add about 10 stores a year. And much like a tech company, it's raised $75 million in venture funding. Notable investors include Snoop Dogg, actor Jonah Hill, and rapper Nas. As to whether Phil's may turn into a close competitor to Pete's or Starbucks? I don't like to think about it as a lot of locations. We got to go to every community and we got to earn our trust, we got to earn our growth, and we got to do a great job. His advice to fellow young entrepreneurs in the Valley? Think about something that energizes you and see if there's a parallel between that and a problem that a lot of people have in the world, a problem that you want to solve. Jaber has found that perfect blend of passion, business, and coffee. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX Spot.